All right, what's up guys? So, um, in today's video, I wanted to take you all through the process of switching out keycaps on your keyboard, right? Um, let's see, I got these keycaps about a year ago. I did a room tour whenever I had the keycaps, um, because I got a different keyboard, but they didn't end up fitting. At the time, I thought they didn't end up fitting. But I ended up putting them on my keyboard, right? I have this Steel Series Apex Pro 2 keycap. So, if you know what the regular uh, things are for those, then yeah. Uh, here, I'll try to get it. Although now they're like red. Uh, the top number, so kind of like Chinese. I don't know if y'all can see it. I sure hope so. Although, I wanted to test them out and uh, show y'all like what my first impressions are of them. I haven't, I haven't used them yet. I have no idea. Um, if I can set it back up, right? Uh, there we go. So, oh, as well as I don't know if y'all have noticed it, but yes, I did move. I'm, gonna just, I'm in a completely different house yet. Um, I don't know. Room tour coming soon. Uh, I've still got to set everything up. Like really, nothing set up yet. I just got here yesterday. Like just moved in yesterday. Um, so yeah. But. Real quickly, hold up. I'm gonna do. Uh, Alright, there we go. Okay, so I was gonna test it out just in creative, really. Um, I haven't used it yet. The A key, I don't know if y'all saw it, like, while I was holding it up. But the A key, I lost the keycap for. So I had to use um, the regular one. The regular Series Series Apex Pro uh, keycap for it. But oh, man, yeah, that actually kind of that feels kind of weird to be honest. I'm not really used to it. I still had a whole ton of leftover keys as well. Whoa. I did just move my keyboard, so I don't know if I press them on the wrong buttons. That's fine. But. First impressions, um, they feel kind of hard to hit. Like whenever I hit them, they don't feel like as soft whenever on my fingers. If that makes any sense, it feels like I'm punching my keyboard on all something. But, I mean, they do feel good. Really, keycaps are just a matter of looks for the most part. Right? And I see it like the um. What are like the floating ones? I don't know. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called like gelatin. Like the gelatin keycaps. Which I, I do want to try those to be honest. I think those would be cool. They just look insanely cool. Some of my friends have them. As always, they look insanely good in uh, videos. So, yeah. As well as I'm not really warmed up yet. So, I'm sorry about that. Um, Sorry about the trash feeling and stuff, but I don't know. First impressions, they seem, they definitely seem hollow. Cause you know, um, yo, I might be able to pull these out and show you a comparison. Like, <clears throat> I might be able to actually take off. Hold on. So this is the, this is the old keypad. Let's just use the space bar as an example, right? As well as here. I don't know if y'all can hear this or not. Uh, I sure hope so. But. Right, there's that. And then. Hold up, give me a second. Right, there we go. Now I'm gonna put the old one back on. Alright, now so tell me if you can hear this. I feel like there is a difference. As well, it definitely feels softer. I don't know. I think it looks nice. You know, I bought this whenever the... Um, whenever the Clicks keyboard was extremely popular. 
and um, obviously the red and black looks extremely clean. Also, that was one of the things I messed up on um, whenever I replaced the keycaps. Originally, I wasn't even planning to replace the keycaps. Um, I wanted to just deep clean my keyboard for the most part. Um, and then I saw the keycaps and I was like, hey, I still have those. Well, I'm taking apart my keyboard. Oh, not taking apart, just taking off the keycaps. Um, see if I can put them back on. Oh, put the new ones on. Um, so yeah. I don't know. Although, to save time, definitely, I would recommend, um, I was putting it on the elbows, that's right. I would definitely recommend using a keycap puller, uh, which I think you get with any keyboard, anyways, as well as, um, if you do have two, two, like, keycap sets, make sure to keep them separated. Right, like, I had a whole ton of extra, extra keycaps, um, like, numbers. Um, so it came with a set that had just the numbers, right, and then it came with a set that has, like, the decimals, you know what I mean, right, so, like, one is exclamation point, point, two is at, three is equals, I think, four is money sign, like, you know what I mean, they had two sets, one that came with those, and then another one didn't, that didn't, I think they actually kind of sound like, I think there is definitely a sound difference. Like I definitely hear. It. I, don't know. I didn't do a I didn't do a before and after, which I probably should have done. But I mean, it's alright. You can just go back to like one of my videos or like to one of my streams and then, um, see what I'm talking about. Because I don't know the way that my desk is with house monitors. I have to have my microphone right there. It's not, I'm not trying to, I'm sorry about it, I know it's loud, um, but yeah. Although, I think keycaps are just, um, a preference thing. Like, I don't really think keycaps are going to give you a huge advantage. Key switches, on the other one, definitely do. They give you a massive advantage, but... I don't know. I just wanted to keep y'all updated. Um, I just wanted to make a video about me switching keycaps for this. And I will be doing a room tour st soon, so make sure to be subscribed for that. As well as probably do a whole house tour. It's an extremely nice house. Uh, we have a pool, everything. So, although, yeah. Um, I'll see y'all next time. I right? hope you have a good day.